Well, hello everybody. Well, this is Dr. Menace, and I am in my house, and I'm singing songs to you on the Feed the Beast. Let's play. Yes, you like my let's play? Let's play is good. It's good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, so, um, yeah. What are we doing today? I don't even know. Actually, I know, because I've got a list of things that I want to do. Ah, ha, ha. Um, so today, what we're going to do is we're going to get our power system going. Um, well, we're not going to get our power system going. We're going to build another piece onto our power system. Let me open and shut this door one more time. Boom. All right. And blah! And I fail. All right. So this is where we're at right now. Um, running everything with lava and water. Shut up! I'm trying to record! Zip it! Alright, I gotta do something about this. I gotta do something about this. Alright, let's 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 take care of this. Uh, silence. What is it? It's open blocks, right? You know what it's called? I don't even know. Let's look in open blocks. Uh, ticket machine, elevator, building guide, canvas... Butler. What is it? Muter? Muter? Nope. Sound. This is it. Sound muffler. Extra utilities. It's a note block with a bunch of wool around it. Alright, let's take care of this crap right now. Because this is old. Let's grab, let's grab some wool and a note block, and let's do this. Shut up! Oh my gosh! Can't believe I haven't done this sooner. Holy cow! What the heck? So this is not planned. <laughs> this is just Darth freaking out, um, as I always do. All right, let's hop up there. Let's go to my workbench. All right. So what's a note block? Block note. Note. Note block. Red note block. Note block. Should be easy. Alright, bop. Alright, got. Let's do two or three. Alright, so let's do that. Okay, it was a sound muffler, is what it was, right? Sound muffler. Alright, so bop. Let's do three of them. Come on, number three. Let's go. Alright, so this hopefully. Um, takes care of what's making Darth so angry. All right, so let's do this without jumping off here like an idiot. Fly. All right, so dig. Oh my God, that's beautiful. And you notice, I don't want one in here because I want to hear these loud, stupid animals dying a horrible, horrible death. Yes, I do. All right. There's probably a better way to lay that out. I don't care. Listen, I can hear myself talk now. Yay. All right. So back to what I was doing before I snapped and, and went crazy. Alright, so here's where we're at right now. This is what we're doing. Parts of my power system that I'm working towards. Okay, so get over here, sapling. Don't want you to go somewhere. Alright, got my tree farm going. Tree farm over here. Yay, tree farm. It is putting goodness back into the AE system. I've got my huge water tank over here and this lava tank, which is powering my my power which is powering the house and all these machines around here yay power I've got that turned off for the moment um, why because I can alright so let's go on upstairs nice okay so got the tree farm pumping into my AE system through ender tanks I got 
my squeezers set up and made another one and it's making um, fruit juice you notice I've got a tesseract right here um, got this fluid duct right here and this should be pumping in water what happened what's going on here fertilizer there's plenty of there's plenty of trees all right let's make sure water set frequency this is receiving fluid and let's see pop let's flip it back to juice fruit There we go. All right. So now it's taking the fruit juice. Now this takes, this seems to be working okay. Let's see. There we go. There you go. There we go. All right. So all is well in the world of Darth. All right. So, anyways, making the fruit juice out of the apples. Um, got the second one going just because. Uh, mulch. I hate you, mulch. Um, so, yeah, goes in here. And then this runs through the fermenter, making El Biomaso, that's Spanish for the biomass. Um, over here is ethanol that is being produced out of these stills. Um, and yeah, we're going to wait till this gets pretty full. Um, this is a slow process, um, so is what we're going to do today, um, which is making the blast furnace. Um, so today what we want to do is we want to make blast furnace because um, I'm going to be making steam boilers. Um, and with the steam boilers, um, there's two different types. Um, let's look at this. Boiler. No. Ah, why do I suck at this so bad? All right. <laughs> Boiler. Look at that. Okay, so you got two different types. You got a low pressure and you got the high pressure. And the difference between the two is the low pressure uses iron, which I could do right now. High pressure uses steel. Okay, steel plates from Railcraft or iron plates for the low pressure. Now, I remember back in the day, um, the difference between the two, this is backwards, um, this produces 10 millibuckets of steam per tick and this produces 20. It's backwards, it's messed up. All right, so back in the day, um, before everything got upgraded, it was actually um, more efficient, more power efficient to do the, the low pressure steam boiler um, because it took a lot less resources to get hot, so like it, it consumed less, so it started producing energy faster, um, and the, the high pressure steam boiler would never, ever, ever catch up um, if you had a low pressure steam boiler, even though the high pressure steam boiler created more power, um, the amount of energy that it took to get it up and going was just absolutely insane. Um, so they've done some tweaks and everything's changed and the, the amount of time that it takes to heat up um, has been significantly changed. So it's, it's turning out that it's, it's a, a good idea to use the high pressure steam boiler if you can. The only problem is it takes steel to work. And guess what? Steel takes a long freaking time to make. Um, so let's figure out how to make steel. Um, so let's type in steel. I already know this. Um, but there's different ways to make steel. Um, let's click on it. Steel. How do you make a steel ingot? Okay, you can smelt steel dust, which steel dust is created from four pieces of coal and an iron ingot. And that's how you make steel dust. Okay, that's a pretty easy way to, to do this. It really is. I mean, if you think about it, four pieces of coal for one piece of iron. Um, I'm going to make a blast furnace. Um, which is another way to make it. Let's see. Blah, 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 blah. I think there, there's a way to make it elsewhere. But yeah, let's do the blast furnace today just because it's awesome. Not last furnace, blast. 
Oh my god, I'm gonna kill this thing. Blast. There you go. Look, all right, here's a blast furnace. All right, it is pretty simple. It's a magma crane, four nether bricks, and four soul sand. So I should have none of it. I've got nether bricks and got soul sand. All right, so how do you make the magma crane, which goes in the middle? It's pretty easy. Oh, Lord. This NEI sink sometimes doesn't work the best. All right, so I should have, you want to make nine. I need to get some more slimes. So you know what that means? Let's go fight some slimes. Okay, so here's this slime island up here. And look at that little bounce boost I get. <laughs> Jumping on these. If you take some of this water and put it anywhere, it'll pretty much be a slime spawner um, wherever you want it. So I am collecting some slime. I should be anyways. Let's see. Let's grab one of these and see if I can... Oh my gosh. Alright, so... This is a really good way to get some slime. Just take some of this congealed slime blocks um, and, and then just turn them into slime balls so easily. Um, the other option is come up here and wait till slime spawns and fight the slimes to the death, which is fun. Oh, wait. Go back to bat form. Darth almost died. All right, so let's go back. Yay! Ah, I guess I would have landed in water. <laughs> I'm so good at flying. Alright. Yay, being a bat. I love this. So I'm all over the place today, and I apologize for that. Alright, so put the slime back in there, and let's make our magma cream. Magma, liquid hot magma. All right, need to make a few more. I think I need about nine. Yeah, nine of them. All right, so put these back in the system, and let's make us the blast furnace. Blast. Boop. All right, so I am not sure if I have enough to do all this. I, I think I do. I certainly have um, possibility for enough bricks. Um, nether bricks. You need 36 pieces to make this. It's a multi-block structure. Um, you, you need 34, uh, but you're going to have to make 36 because you can't just make two. Um, so let's just make all that I can. All right, so need to make some more nether bricks, which is bop and just take and this is just nether rack that has been smelted. And let's make a stack of it. And that should get us back um, to what we want. Blast. Uh, blast furnace. And throw that sucker up there. Let's go. There is a way to make... Oh. Alright, so... There's my 36. All right, so let's also make an ender chest. You know why? Because I want to. Ender chest. Let's see. Should have everything we need to make one of those, except for an actual chest. So, yay. Wood. Oh, these are so beautiful. All right, where are my planks? Spruce wood planks. Okay, so let's go back. Let's make the ender chest. Boop, boop, boop. There you are. And we'll make one. Boop, boop, boop. All right. What you need for this is you need some kind of fuel. Um, I could automate this system, um, which would probably be a smart thing to do, um, but I'm not going to today. 
Um, so got some coal coke, um, and you need iron, and yay iron. Um, so where we are going to build this, let's go ahead and build it up here, just because this is a nice little place. Um, I'm wanting to put, I may not have the room for the machine over here, for the boilers over here. They're going to be three by three. Ah, yeah, they'd fit over there in that corner. Um, so let's just put this over here in this corner, and if I um, end up needing to expand this, I can expand around it. All right, so let's do this. Uh, yeah, let's just do this this way. All right, so you do a three by three, okay? And then you do two layers that are hollow in the middle. And then you do one more three by three. Now you're gonna notice it's going to do the whole multi-block and turn into something awesome. Blast furnace. All right, so you want to add your awesome fuel and you want to add your ingots. And it takes a really long time. Talking really long time to get going. Like, I think this takes, I don't want to sit here and time it, over a minute, maybe two minutes. Um, or I think a, yeah, the, the coal will burn for a really long time. And uh, over two minutes, maybe, one piece of coal coke it's like a minute. Oh, that, well, I don't even think that was a minute. Craziness. Two minutes for every piece of iron. Two minutes and eight seconds from what I understand. All right. So, um, unless that's changed. Anyways, never listen to me when I'm quoting numbers from my head if I don't have it sitting right in front of me. Just don't pay attention. Joel, Joel, if you know, please let me know so I can educate our viewers because I'm clueless as you guys have figured out. All right. So we've got that going. Um, now I want a way to get it back into the system. Um, so let's get an item duct. Uh, let's just grab a few. And we'll grab this ender chest. Let's put that sapling back in there. Okay. So this can also be inputted and outputted. Um, you can get this all auto to where it will automatically, you know, add the the coal coke, automatically add iron, um, and automatically extract um, the steel. I don't really want to get that that um, technical. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it up to export back into the system uh, to get rid of this and put it back into the the AE system. I think I need a servo. Let's go back down and grab us a servo. I put servos in everything because I don't know any other way. Alright, there's my servo. Yay, servo. Alright, so let's click servo. Poop, put you on there. Alright, click it. We want to disable redstone. And let's see. Yeah, it took it out. So now it is putting everything back into the AE system. All right. I don't know if you can hear, but my four-year-old is screaming in the background that he is hungry. Um, so if you guys ever wanted to know if I'm a good father and take care of my children, apparently not because my, my four-year-old is starving. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's in there hanging out. Um, let me take care of him real quick, and then I'll come back, um, and we'll we'll deal with this. Look at that steel. It's already making awesomeness. All right. So this machine is making steel, and yeah, it's doing a pretty good job of it. Got 14, um, 14 pieces of it. Now, um, to make a steel plate, a steel plate is uh, you know four pieces. Uh, for ingots that gets smashed into steel plates. Now there's other ways to 
do this, but I've got a rolling machine. Um, at least I think I still do. Um, oh, where is it? Because I had it. Maybe I have put it up somewhere. Is it in here? Anyways, I'll find my rolling machine, um, and if not, we'll figure out, because we've already used the rolling machine, I'll figure out another way to, to flatten that steel and make steel plates for um, everyone, because there's multiple ways. Um, but if I've got the rolling machine, might as well use it. It may be one of the devices that didn't make the move whenever I had to reset the world. Um, so if that is the case, I just need to empty all this into my system. If that's the case, there you are, rolling machine. All right, there we go. All right, world anchor, iron tank wall. Oh, I got another aqueous accumulator. Sweet. Steel sword. God, I have so much crap around here. Single use safari net, steel boots. Oh my, I should have like a complete set of steel armor, I think. Pretty close, and if you look, I'm never wearing armor. Like I always just die. Um, so I've got to work on an iron solution, or not iron solution, an armor solution. Um, so that's probably coming up in the next couple episodes of me figuring out how I don't want to die. Leather boots. All right. Well, I'll quit licking, licking. I'll quit looking through all these. Got my rolling machine. We'll just put this up here. Um, get ready for um, whenever we actually make the blast furnace. Um, not the blast furnace. We actually make our um, make our our boilers. That's what I'm talking about. Um, so we got the rolling machine set up. We are making still very very slowly. I'll have to come and fill up the the coal coke um, here after a little bit. Got it flowing back into our AE system. Um, we are slowly producing ethanol, and we're going to need a whole lot more than what we have right now um, to get this machine going. Um, there's a really cool website which has a calculator which tells you how much you need. Um, so I will know how much I need and how long I can keep my um, high-pressure steam boiler going. Um, and since I'm using liquid, I don't know if there's a way to like supercharge it, uh, but there is a way to supercharge the um, solid fuel um, steam boiler. Anyways, uh, here is all of that goodness. My name is Darth Tomanis, and I thank you guys for checking out. Sorry I was all over the place today. Um, like I said, um, I knew what I wanted to do today, but I've had like four cups of coffee, so there's really no telling what's going to come out of my mouth. Yeah, so that's all the goodness. Oh, look at that. No score in my game. Anyways, blah, blah, blah. Hope you're having a good one. I'll talk to y'all later. Feel free to subscribe, leave a comment, let me know how you're doing. Bye-bye.